being an adult does not make you mature. Because in fact we have a conflation of these terms here, adulthood and maturity. Maturity and adulthood, they don't actually mean the same thing. Adulthood refers to physical maturity only, while maturity, the word by itself, refers to a more total state of being, a physical, mental, and social maturity, all in one. And with that little nitpick aside here, I want to go right into the ideas of maturity and what makes someone mature, at least based on my perspective of things. To put it really simply, maturity is taking responsibility for the actions and consequences of those actions that you perform. So, let's say you knock something over and break it. It's more than just apologizing, it's paying for it. Let's say you cost someone a job. It's, again, more than just apologizing, it's getting them the job back. It is doing more than just saying, I'm sorry I did something, yes I did that. It's fixing it. It's taking the consequences of your action and ameliorating them. You're making them smaller. At least you're going to do something to rectify the harm you have caused. Because that's what a big part of being an adult or mature comes down to in my book, is accepting that the actions you do may cause harm and then working to reverse or at least mitigate the harm caused. It's very simple. But there's more to it than just that. There's also an idea so simple it bears mentioning, which is an understanding of right and wrong on a scale beyond yourself, beyond this idea of what's good for me and my people, an understanding of the fact that your actions have a global effect and that other people may suffer for actions that cause immediate benefit to the people you see. Such as, let's say you get yourself a better position at a workforce, you know, a job, but you have to screw someone else over to get that job. Perhaps you cost them their job, but even to make it less uh, terrible, let's say you just per get them demoted, get yourself promoted. Well then, you cost their family and their people income. You cost them power and position and all the stuff that comes with having a job. And you did it for yourself. And while on a survivalistic level, that's fine. You have to benefit yourself. Taking it to the level where you have to harm others to benefit yourself shows a level of childish immaturity because there's always another way. There's always another way to get a benefit for yourself without destroying someone else or at least screwing them over or making their life harder. And if there isn't, well, you really need to consider where you've put yourself in life where your position requires you to harm others. That also is a form of immaturity, this unwillingness to persevere and find a better path. Looking for the easy way out is another point that makes you immature, where you're trying to find a quick solution to something instead of sticking with it and working hard. That makes you immature. Maturity comes from understanding that true goals take great effort and that great accomplishments require near total effort. These are just some of the thoughts that bounce around in my head when I'm thinking of maturity and the ideas that go into it. Perhaps you have more different ideas and I'm sure that there's more that I could list here, but in reality, there's so many ideas that go with the singular idea of being mature that I couldn't possibly list all of the things that go into this. What's here is simply what I think to be some of the most important aspects of it. But what do you think is the most important factor that makes up being mature? What do you think is the top of that whole category, the thing that makes you mature? What do you think?